our first guest on the show is editor-in-chief of Reason.tv and Reason.com, which are the online platforms of Reason, the libertarian magazine of free minds and free markets. He's also a co-author of the Declaration of Independence, How Libertarian Politics Can Fix What's Wrong with America. Please welcome Nick Gillespie. <laughs> and, um, so we asked the booker for the author of the Declaration of Independence. We got, uh, I wanted you, but first he also double booked us and got us the Declaration of Independence author, uh, Thomas Jefferson. Zombie Thomas Jefferson, welcome. <laughs> so, uh, Nick, yes. the, the subtitle of your book is, is mm -hmm. How uh, Libertarian Politics Can Fix What's Wrong with America. What's wrong with America? Well, <laughs> Lack of brains. Lack of brains. Yeah, Good. Uh, yeah. Good. You know, I'm not sure I could improve on that. But okay. uh, the well, main problem is, is that we've there are two Americas, as a, I guess it was John Edwards used to say, when he actually meant to say that there were two families uh, in his household. But <laughs> um, it uh, no, you know, outside of politics, things even with the recession, things are going pretty well. We live in a world where you can individualize and personalize virtually everything that you do in ways that are just uh, really great and uh, unthinkable even 20 or 25 years ago. That's all going pretty well, uh, but then, uh, you know, when you get to politics, things are just going awful. I mean, we live in a country that hasn't been able to pass a budget at the federal level for a couple of years, and there is absolutely no sign. Nobody thinks that that will happen before the presidential elections. I mean, things are going off the rail. We're broke at the federal level, at the state level, at the local level. So that's what's wrong with America, is that the political class is totally out of touch with everything good and decent that is happening in our lives, which is that we're able to live more, uh, you know, we're able to pursue happiness and brains on our own terms more than ever before. One of the most fascinating things about politics or political affiliation over the past 40 years that we talk about in the book is that in 1970, about 50 percent of Americans identified as Democrats, about 35 percent as Republicans. Those numbers are now down around like 34 and 26 percent. The big rise is in independence. People who say, you know what, I'm not, I'm not buying Republican politics or candidates or Democratic candidates any more than I'm buying a Chrysler or a Ford because my parents did. Uh, and people are much more savvy and they're much more demanding uh, saying you know you've got to you've got to show why you you deserve our vote and the sad fact of the matter is is that the two major parties are not doing that that's all the time we have for on the BS of A. I want to uh, thank Nick Gillespie for being our very first guest on the show and uh, talking to Nick is like wearing a, a Harvard sweatshirt you just you feel smarter <laughs> True. also I want to thank uh, zombie Thomas Jefferson I think Actually, merging zombies and founding fathers is a great way to introduce people to American history. I mean, don't you think, zombie Thomas Jefferson? <laughs> good. All right. Also, want to thank our audience. It seemed really good in the writers' meeting. Uh, well <laughs> okay. Really want to thank the audience. Uh, we're we're hoping that decades from now you'll be able to tell your grandkids that you were there for the second episode of what became the greatest comedy show since 16 and Pregnant. <laughs>